Okay, we got a super fun one today. We're going to be shooting an entire B-roll section out here and showing you guys the finished results at the end. We're going to do a beginner version as well as a pro version and show you guys the difference between the two because there's a couple of really simple changes that we can make that are going to have huge impact on our final result. If you guys have seen videos like this that I've done in the past, you'll know that we're going to do it in a completely raw POV style. I'm actually going to attach a 360 camera onto this camera. I find it's by far the best way for you guys to learn as it's almost you're just sitting here and like creating the video with us. The last one we did, we did on a super warm tropical beach <laughs> and now we are in snowy Austria up in the mountains and the other difference is last time I did it just of our environment this time I'm going to show you guys how you can actually shoot a subject so we're going to be shooting Ellie kind of walking down here on this little hiking trail it's going to be really cool let's swap over to our 360 POV angle and get started with our first beginner version the thing that you're not really supposed to do so we're over on our crazy 360 setup, super cool. You guys can see the camera and what we're doing and see exactly how we're actually gonna shoot these scenes. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna show you the beginner thing. And if you guys are doing any of the stuff that I'm gonna be doing in this, don't feel bad. I still find myself doing all of this. It's just a nice reminder of what small things you guys can change. So we're gonna start off with getting some shots of Ellie kind of walking down this path. So Ellie, if you wanna walk past us over here, and then get a shot of belly kind of walking past and some other things that I like are this view and get a shot of belly like this and I can get one kind of off the walking on the path I'm kind of just shooting like random stuff of belly walking on the path eye level this is kind of what a lot of people would do if they were just kind of going on a hike and just getting shots of Ellie, showing the environment, showing where she is. So I can film Ellie kind of walking here, getting a nice shot of her, making a pan with her as she walks past. I can film her walking down there. Ellie, let's get a nice shot of you walking down. I can see the view, I can see you and everything, yeah. Very, very cool, nice. And I can get a zoomed in one, very cool. Looks so beautiful here. Even a beginner is going to make this look pretty. <laughs> okay. We get a shot of Ellie walking past here, if you want to walk. And I can see the mountains nicely. I can get a shot of Ellie. Looks cool. And get her walking to the distance. Okay. Let's get another one from this side because it can kind of show the other perspective, this other mountain, really pretty. I'm going to get one more shot here because we have these cool huts that Ellie's walking past. So if you want to walk this way again, I'm going to start on these huts and I can show the huts and then I'll show you. So whenever you're ready, you can start. Okay, huts. Looking cool, and then show Ellie. I can also show this mountain. It's very cool, just showing the scene. And then Ellie walking away. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, that is gonna be our beginner version and what you kind of shouldn't do. So, let's actually play this one once it's edited to music and everything. And you guys can see if you notice any like obvious things that you shouldn't be doing and things that are wrong with this one. And we're gonna get to the point where we can correct all of them and show you guys some really nice tricks on how to make it look super nice and professional. So let's roll the beginner version. Let's get onto our pro version and show you guys how you can make this whole scene look completely different and way more professional. The first thing and one of the most significant differences is that we're going to have a rough plan of what we actually want to shoot. We're going to try and not just kind of arrive here, walk along and shoot just random things that we think look cool. So your plan can be something as simple as 
I'm gonna get one or two shots of the environment as our establishing opening beginning shot, and that can be the beginning. Then we're gonna have our middle, which is just gonna be Ellie walking here. And because we have these really nice huts, we can think, okay, Ellie can arrive at these huts kind of as our like ending. So now we have a plan and a structure of what our little story is actually gonna be rather than just filming some random things. So we have something to kind of work towards now. Just wanna get one or two shots of showing this scene and this environment as our establishing opening shots. So we can get a cool shot of these mountains. I'm gonna get lower and something that I'm really gonna focus on is I'm gonna break everything up into little single shots. I'm not gonna pan my camera around trying to fit everything into one shot. I'm gonna separate them and shoot with intention. So I'm gonna get one shot here and I'm gonna do like a nice lift up. One singular movement. And then that's it. Then I'm gonna get one other shot which is gonna be looking down here of our pathway and I can do another lift up. But I'm keeping each shot separate and on its own from one another. Couple more establishing shots here. I can see this really nice hut down there. So I'm gonna get just one nice lock off shot that we can use as one of our openers. And I'll get one. And then I'll get a separate one of like a nice zoomed in one. I could get one here with this cool mountain in the background. And I'll get one, just like that. I don't even have to be having movement in them. We've got some of our intro beginning shots. Now we can actually start shooting Ellie. And something that I'm gonna focus on when I am shooting her is I'm gonna try and shoot in sequences, not just singular shots. And when I am gonna be shooting a sequence, especially of someone walking or moving, I'm gonna pick a direction of movement for them to be traveling across in my frame and I'm gonna stick to it. Because if you saw in our beginning one, if Ellie is walking from left to right in one shot and right to left in the next shot, it kind of gives off the feeling of her going and then coming back the other way. We want to keep all of her going in the same direction. And I'm going to look at my environment, see which direction I want to shoot before I actually start shooting her. And I think I'm going to go left to right because I want to be looking out this way the majority of the time. This view is better and we can also have the sun kind of behind Ellie instead of the sun behind camera. So we're gonna start shooting in our sequences now. A really nice simple way of doing this is just doing a wide, medium and close up of the same thing. So Ellie, if you want to start walking down to the huts, I'll get a nice wide here and I'll do a little slide, a simple movement and a singular direction. Okay, and you can stop there. And then let's do this same section again. Ellie's gonna do the exact same thing of walking. I'm gonna stay on the same side of her and I'm gonna do something significantly different because the other thing, if you guys noticed in our beginner scene, the shots that were cut next to each other were often too similar to one another and they end up not cutting nicely together because they're just too similar. So I'm gonna make a significantly different shot. It's gonna be a close up of her feet here and I'm gonna walk with her. So let's go. And just getting like a little slide of her feet walking. Looks really, really cool. Okay. And then I'm going to be a little further away. Yeah, keep walking. The next one I'm going to get is just a nice kind of like medium because we got our wide and our close up. So let's get a medium of Ellie's upper body. And one of, the, one of the other reasons I picked shooting from this side is because you get a much more interesting and cinematic look looking into the light rather than behind it. If we shoot shadow side, meaning that the side of Ellie that we're seeing is the side that's actually in shadow, it gives us a really cool cinematic style look and although the sun isn't too low in the sky we can still shoot into the light maybe just not always directly into the sun but we can shoot into the light like this and it gives us a really cool look so and if you want to walk again i'm going to try my best to kind of walk here i'm kind of going with her keeping her on the back third of my frame just to give her some nose room i want to shoot another sequence of this part of Ellie walking, kind of just a little further down. If I go for my first one being a wide, you want to walk and you can stop in the middle of the two huts, like in line with me, and I can get you arriving there. Yep. So I can follow Ellie along like this. It's gonna be a really nice wide shot. <laughs> Keeping it as smooth and consistent as I can. I'm not gonna use the whole piece 
because we're shooting in a sequence, I'm just going to take the pieces I like of this. I'll get a different shot of you kind of being here, which will also work for our sequence. So I'll get one like this, and you can kind of just look out at the view like you're enjoying the scenery. Super nice. And then I'll also get one really zoomed in one of Ellie, and you can just move around a little bit. Like look up this way to these mountains and then look to those mountains. I like to try and just keep a little bit of movement with your subject with Ellie. So it's nice and like something's happening. Already you can see with our little scene that we have an ending here because now Ellie's kind of getting to these huts and she's stopping there and she's going to look out at the view and that's going to be our ending. It's very simple but it still just gives some sort of feeling. Do you want to walk this last section again? And for this one now, I'm going to be still in the same position, but I'm going to be a close-up on Ellie. But I'm just going to be a lot more zoomed in. I'm going to keep it nice and smooth. You can walk whenever you want. So I'm going to follow her. I'm going to try to keep her on the back third of my frame to give her some of that nose room to walk. And as she goes down, we can use some of these close-ups mixed with our other shot that we just got, the wide. And we can cut them together a little further, a little further. Yeah, there and out. And then just do the same looking around that you were doing earlier. Yeah, so we're getting a different shot and we can use both of these later on. Let's get you walking down and I'm going to come with you now. So I can come with her. It's a different perspective. It's significantly different from our previous one so that they will actually cut with one another. I'm just trying to be as smooth as I can be with this handheld shot and I can follow her along. Can you do like your last three steps and stop into it? So I'll just follow and look around here yeah. and look out. Super nice and this shot I can use with the other shots and I want to try to just get a little more foreground so I kind of get in the bushes here. You just want to keep looking around there, but Ellie, this looks so cool. And one of the best ways you can add interest to your shots is just by adding ele elements of foreground. It makes it so much more dynamic. Okay, and look out to the other mountains. Look around a bit. And then walk away. And that will most likely be our ending shot. You can see a really nice little framing of Ellie here, so if you want to look around in your environment like you have been and I'm just getting Ellie to repeat the same things that she's been doing in the others because I can cut them all together and choose which ones of these I actually want and then walk away what I want to try to do is get a nice kind of close up to go with our previous sequence of Ellie just arriving but I want to make it super different so I'm going to get her feet and I can keep some of these rocks in the foreground so and if you want to walk past here you can get her feet cruising like this nice foreground I'm going to go kind of from the feet and I might move around up and down a little bit as well so you can go whenever you're ready nice close up of the feet here wow hard with this camera stick outside and then kind of coming up with her arriving. And then I'll go into a wrap shot of her kind of just looking around. Okay, that's gonna be a cool shot. Something I thought that's really cool is this little like mini hut with the open door. And I think it could be the perfect little spot for me to be in here and then you kind of just walking past. Yeah. So if I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go as deep in here as I can. And I'm just gonna do a slow punch forward. Super cool, that's it. And it just kind of shows Ellie in this environment. Gives us another perspective of something cool. <laughs> Looks really, really nice. We can show Ellie here with this nice foreground. Yeah, look to the mountains where you are. Looks super nice, we got that little golden rim around Ellie. It looks beautiful. And then you can walk away. Kind of cool, we can just use this as like a little cut Good to go in it. Okay, whenever you're ready. Something I want to get is just a few cutaways and basically that anything of our environment that I think are cool that I can put between the shots that we've been getting of Ellie. So I think one of the absolute must-haves, so you can take a little chill, I don't need you anymore, thank you. 
that I'm <laughs> this hot is something that we definitely have to show because it's so cool looking with the snow on the roof. So we can just get a little shot of this. Doesn't have to be fancy. We're going to keep our camera moving in the same direction as all of our previous shots. Some of the snow and shadows on the roof slide in the same direction again. Something like this is so cool. Nice little slide in the same direction. Let's get a deeper focus. Just kind of get like a nice slide left to right again so they match. I'm trying to just show something interesting. And I could also get one from here. And the, these cutaways, they don't have to be crazy. Just pretty much getting anything that I think is cool so I can put them between some of the other shots that we have of Ellie actually walking. So I think that's nice. I'll get a zoomed in one. Let's see if we can get one of this like first hut with the second one in the background. It's super cool. And just small movements of the foreground. When I am looking for like my cutaways, I'm, I'm trying to just like see what's in my environment that kind of makes it feel the way it does. Like what's cool about this place? And actually Ellie pointed out this really cool yellow tree because it's like autumn vibes right now. So I think, wow, it looks so nice. So I get some sun flares through this tree. I'm gonna do a nice slide in the same direction as we were going before, left to right. And I'll do one wide and I'll do one more zoomed in one. Pretty much gonna be it for our pro version. So let's check out the edit with like some nice music and cool editing effects, some slow-mo here and there and see what you guys think. When you do watch this one, see if there are the main noticeable things that are different from the first one that we've pointed out. I think it's gonna be really useful. So let's roll that. That is going to be it. Hopefully you guys noticed a significant difference between those two videos. Don't feel bad if you guys were doing the first video. I still find myself doing a lot of these things in my videos that I'm filming now. Thank you so much for helping and being our subject for this. We are going to enjoy this beautiful little Austrian mountain and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have fun. Bye. <laughs>